Hello, and welcome to Let's Replay Mystery Case Files, Madame Fate. I'm MCF Papa, and this is part number two. In this part, we're investigating the bearded lady. Now, I, like, really don't I like the, coming the of a bearded darkness. lady. It's not really anything to do with her, like, scene itself, because it is a as good as any of the other scenes but the issue is um, that her all her scenes have the six to win game which is my least favorite of the word puzzle games and also she appears four times when that like her appearance could be used to for like another carney's hidden object scene to appear And, like, I'm just really stumped with this thing. And something you can do if you're really stumped is you just go back to the map and then return, and then there's a whole new list of six words. That works for all the word puzzles, like it'll reset with a different set of words if you exit to the map. I'm just assuming that these two are S words, because the others all end in S. But it isn't. See, that got me. Saturn, Noah.
Oh, astronaut. Sheesh. Took me way longer than it should have. But anyway, another example of like how this game isn't how very polished is hey. if you listen, there's like environment noise and stuff, like ambient sounds. But watch or listen more accurately to what happens after I get three in a row and get the time bonus. Like the ambient audio just cuts out and doesn't come back unless you leave and then return to the scene. See now, it's back. And now it's gone again. Just a really weird glitch. I may it may sound like I'm nitpicking, but it's just because, like, I've played this game so much, because I enjoy it so much, that, like, I notice a lot of the quirks and stuff to it. Another really cool improvement is almost every scene has some sort of animated effect to it, like in here it's laser beams firing and stuff, which really um, adds to the quality of the scenes compared to like Huntsville, Prime Suspects, and Ravenhurst, which almost all had static scenes except the surveillance room in Ravenhurst, which had a bit of animation in the static ETV. And I'm saying static way too much. sounds and it's a real shame because I know they put a lot of work into the background sounds but because of the audio glitch chances are if you're good enough to get a time bonus you aren't gonna hear the background noise very often You know, one time I did a playthrough of this game where I made it my sole goal to not get a time bonus at all yes. as a challenge. So it was a lot slower of a playthrough, but it really helped because then I could appreciate all the different background noise, which... They design, it's not like they copied and pasted really that much, like almost every scene has its own unique, like, noise. And, I, I don't know who this person is in the picture here, but... I theorize that they were one of the contest winners from finding 
the fish in Ravenhurst when you could have a chance to get your picture in the next MCF game. That's my theory anyway on who they are. It could also be one of the developers or one of their family members. Bring them all into the box. But another example of how this game isn't very polished is you can weave and go to the map and the you won't get booted to the other final puzzle screen, which in Huntsville and Rave and Prime Suspects you could just access the crime computer from the map. And in Ravenhurst, if you got all the items you needed and then hit the map button, when you got back to the map, it would boot you out and force you into the bonus, or not bonus, but end the level puzzle. But with this, you can just go and then have a completely empty world map. And it's weird because Madam Fate's trailer is like right up here. They could have had like a clickable button to access it like they did in Huntsville and Prime Suspects. But then they don't, so you have to go back else. to the yes. menu Excellent and then when you work. pop back With in, items, the ball it'll may be used have to see. the you must have fixed your gate. puzzle. <laughs> Pretty weird. Only the sharpest of minds can untangle the future's knot. And a lot of these puzzles, I really don't get what it has to do with the carny. Like this one, which is like for the bearded lady, like that has like bearded lady pictures on the sides, but that really has nothing to do with the actual puzzle. Like, these Viewmaster animations and stuff really don't have anything to do with the bearded lady. So, that's just weird. And I like how this one, like, it isn't clear what the proper order is just from the pictures, so it's just putting the letters of the alphabet in order. got some of these things like this guy oh. like flipping around <laughs> oh how unfortunate looks like Lucy's first trip to the barber will be her last Guess she didn't know how to play with razors. That's what she gets for not staying sharp. <laughs> Excellent work, detective. Like, another thing I love about this game is how all the carnies are predicted to die in horrible, horrible ways and stuff, but the damn fate just, like, laughs and jokes and makes puns bearded about lady. like the bearded lady accidentally slitting her throat and stuff I think this is still just like an E10 plus game rated I don't think it's teen I guess cause they only imply the brutal deaths it doesn't need to be more mature Rated, I don't know. Anyway, 
like and subscribe if you want, and I'll see you next time when we investigate Marlena the Mermaid.